Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Sofia Bin Tirazali from BEC1E and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a sunset makeup look. So first of all, make sure to apply your skincare routine um, because it is important so that um, it is important that your skin is well prepped before any type of makeup application for a flawless makeup look. Next, we are going to jump into brows. So this is optional for those who know how to draw your brows you can try i'm using the brow this way from rimmel london and just oh also well, if you see me looking down it's because i'm looking at the mirror right here in case i can't see the camera and you take the powder just a little bit and fill in the fun part. As you can see, the line is harsh, so it's very crucial for you guys to just brush it so it looks more natural. We're gonna go in with the concealer. This is also a drugstore product, as you are well aware. This is the Fit Me Maybelline in the code, what's the code? 07 Vanilla. I'm going to be using a little bit of this and pop it right on the back of my hand before taking a the back of this brush to conceal my imperfections. So I'm just going to be blending this out. So next, we are going to jump to brow gel. This is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. Just going to brush it upwards. So next, I am going to be doing my eyeshadow, which is the most important part because technically this video is about how to achieve the sunset makeup look. So I'm going to be using the James Charles X Morphe palette, the Artist Street palette. First of all, I'm going to be starting with a yellow shade as the transition shade. So take any brush of your preference. I'm going to be taking this blending brush and just lightly apply this on the top of your crease. I'm going to be doing the other side. So, for the next color, I am going to be using this orange right here, the lighter orange. And I'm going to apply it not above, but in the middle between the yellows, just to uh, but make sure not to um, overshadow the yellow because it's going to ruin the gradient effect. Okay, so next we are going to dip in the shade red right here. Wait, no, actually, I'm going to be using the exact same brush I used for the orange, but I'm going to dust it out a bit and take the red right here. And take another flat brush. I use a flat brush because I'm going to take a darker purple, this purple right here, and apply it on the lower section of my eyelid. Concealer. Um, uh, I'm using the same concealer I used beforehand, the 
sorry. So I'm going to be applying it under my eyes. High points of your face, features. to prevent any wrinkles or fine lines from showing. Moving on, we're going to be applying blush. So for blush, I am using the, I'm going to mix two colors. One, the Essence Mosaic Blush. I'm going to layer it with the e.l.f. Modern Metals palette and I'm going to be using the orange shade. <laughs> We're going to be doing the hardest part, for me at least, the eyeliner. I'm going to be using the Hyper Sharp Power Black Maybelline New York Eyeliner. Once you're done with your eyeliner, we are going to jump straight into lips. I will be using the lip scrub just to exfoliate my lips from any um, dry skin. I'm using the Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub. which is the lipstick. This is the Merle Another Me. I'm going to be applying this all over my lips. Then I am going to be using the Merle Fitting Lip. So the trick is to blend it with a cotton bag. Once you're done with the lips, you can go ahead and throw on a lip gloss, any color, to be honest, it's based on your own preference. Next, we're going to be jumping straight to highlight. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. palette just now and apply this highlight shade right here. <laughs> Not to put too much because you don't want to appear oily. I'm going to be applying on the on the bridge of my nose. So we're gonna be curling our eyelashes. So the way I like to do it's like three three um angles. First, you just look down, curl one, two, three. Voila. The same goes for the other side. One, two, three. Mm. Next, we're going to be applying the inner corner highlight. I'm going to be using the same highlight I did, but applying it only to the inner corners of your eyes. Oh my god, look at that. And last but not least, we are going to be applying the falsies. I'm applying glue on the lash wait a second for them to dry